tradition after all. Don't worry, my little twig. I'll be very careful. The west wind won't get the better of me. Your daddy, Ravi, will be back soon. He's gone to find a lucky plant to celebrate your birth. The White Cliff? Where the west wind blows all the time? Where you birds hardly ever go because it's too dangerous. It was to protect and bring luck to our egg. Ravi insisted on going, but he should have been back by now. <gasps> Ravi was maybe injured on the way. We've got to find him quickly and bring him back. We're going to need Cheel's help. Cheel, Vera and myself are going to fly to the White Cliff. I can't leave my egg on its own. But you're connected to Ravi. If we want to find him, we've got to use your instincts. Mowgli's right. Only you can feel his presence from kilometers away. Exactly. That's why Baloo is going to keep your egg warm. Huh? What? Oh, no. No, no. Come on, Baloo. We jungle kings will help. Have no fear. We will come to do you good. Through the nettles or through the mud. Why don't we ask Bagheera? Baggy's gone hunting. Have you forgotten? Hmm. Baloo, you can't fly. Or be carried on my back. However, you have soft, warm fur. Ravi and Vera's egg would be really comfy, cuddled up against you. Give me the egg. You're a marvelous bear. Happy hatching, Baloo! How's an old bear like me going to keep you warm without crushing you? You're so fragile. Baloo's changed into a bird. He's hatching out eggs now. <laughs> I order you to give me that egg. It belongs to Vera and Ravi. If you want it, you'll have to catch it. Give me that egg, Masha. It's Ravi and Vera's. I've got to keep it warm. <laughs> you hatching out an egg? <laughs> I'm not joking. Give me that egg. Never. You know what? I'm going to eat it. Thanks to that egg, I'll have eternal youth. What utter nonsense. If you eat that egg, you'll just have a stomach ache. It's about to hatch. But Darcy said that if a monkey eats a newly laid egg, he or she becomes forever young. No, that's not it at all. I explained to Darcy that our eggs were the future youth of the jungle and that we should protect them from being eaten. Not that we should eat them to become young. That's utter nonsense. <laughs> Get my egg of eternal youth! <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
should have gone. You're right. It wasn't a good idea to fly in that kind of wind, my little twig. We ought to go. That wind can still give us some nasty surprises. <laughs> Those make you sneeze. They would do. It's mustard. Can you take a sprig, Mowgli? That way I won't have come for nothing. We'd be scared of the white cliff. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't know us very well. The egg. Give us the egg. <laughs> ah. You should have told me. I love family reunions. <laughs> Did you hear that? Baloo? <laughs> Quick, chill! What shall we do? I don't know! Now it's just the two of us, my big balloon. I don't want to see this. It's too cruel! Move <laughs> away, Baloo! If I hadn't gone to find that stupid plant, I don't see what's so lucky about it. <sighs> it's not magic that makes this plant lucky. <laughs> Mustard irritates cats' nostrils because they've got a very good sense of smell. <laughs> That's why it protects our newborn. It's not just a superstition. Thank you for looking after our egg, Baloo. Don't mention it. It was what I promised. Little egg! <laughs> if you have fleas and scratch your ear, we jungle kings will help, have no fear. We will come to do you good through the nettles or through the mud. Ah. 
Could you stop it, please? You're making me dizzy. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. It's as if I had ants in my paws. That's the storm talking. It's getting on your nerves. Isn't there something to do? You need to let off some steam. How about a little assignment? A surveillance mission? Over there. I mean, around here, so to speak. The animals are sometimes disoriented by a storm. Of course. I could help them find their way. What about me? How about gathering herbs with me? Great. Oh, can't we try someplace new? Here it's always the same. There's green grass as far as the eye can see. This is the best prairie I know. Huh? Oh. Stop it! That's disgusting! Wow! Calm down! And why are you out here all alone? Shouldn't you be with your father? The jungle is a dangerous place, and a storm is brewing. You could encounter some angry predators who are not as playful as me. My father isn't far, have you know? And I'm big enough to find my own way home alone. You should have woke me. I could have gone with Baggy instead of... <laughs> Things aren't as they seem. I just sent him away to let off steam. Right now, he's very... Oh, hello, Chew Chip. What are you doing here? I'm on a mission. My father sent me to find new pastures all by myself. You are so lucky. Aren't you a little far from home? You should go back now. Your father will be worried. Well, no. He must really trust him. I'm not so sure. You go take Choo Chip back to his father and fast. It's not very far, but with a storm in the making, he might lose his way. Bagheera can go on patrol all by himself while I play babysitter. Some mission. I can go home by myself, and I'm not a baby. Out of the question. Chapal won't be pleased if I let you go alone. Oh. I'm counting on you. Choo Chip! Choo Chip! <laughs> hey, that's not the way. But we have time for a little detour, right? You're not afraid of the storm? Don't worry. The jungle is no secrets for me. We'll find shelter! <sighs> wow! You're much swifter than Choo Chip! You've seen him? I've been looking for him for hours! He told me he could go home alone. I should have gone with him. What a mule. Don't worry, we'll find him. Wow, I think this pasture is ideal. It's magnificent. Yes, but this is Jakala's territory. We mustn't stay here. Come on, let's go. You're scared, aren't you? I'm too fast for a crocodile. Hey! <laughs> Whatever you do, don't move or you'll sink. We've got to get out of here before Jacola sees us. Someone mentioned me. Oh, no! Now, kids, look at this. It seems that lunch has come to us. Oh. You call that lunch? Look, he's all skin and bones and I'm not much fatter. You see my arm? You won't feed your children with two skinny creatures like us. Oh. 
We need to be fattened up. Baloo told me about a magic grass that grows near here. They say this grass is very rare and delicious. And you get real fat, real fast. And believe me, after he's fattened up, the fawn's meat will be delicious. You're right. And it won't do the baby's harm to wait a little, rather than wolfing down their food, as they usually do. And don't you try to escape, or I'll eat the fawn on the spot. Right, my babies? Prey has to be earned. Now graze, Billy Goat. Billy Goat, is that your name? No, my name is Choo Chip, and I'm a stag. <laughs> wow, he is a David afraid of Dad. Well, I've made up my mind. I'm not eating them, stag. Quick, they're in danger. No, hold it. We're much too heavy and we'll get stuck in the mud. You want Jakala to have the three of us for lunch? We need a plan. The swamp is too vast. By the time I get around, it will be too late. I'll attack Jakala from behind. How does that sound? And then you... Chapal, where are you going? Chapal! Oh, hey, Mowgli, Bagheera. Are you feeling a little hungry? I said I'm not laying a hand on my new friend. But I'm hungry. You're just a belly of legs. Hey, buddy, got room in there for me? What's going on? We don't play with our food around here. That's the rule. Come back this instant. No. <laughs> when you're hungry, your friend's plump thigh will look different to you. Ha 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 ha. Chapal, what are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't listen to Baloo. I was supposed to accompany. Bagheera's with me. Hold it. You mustn't approach Choo Chip. You're too heavy. Trust me. I'm going to climb down and tie the other end around Choo Chip. On the next thunderclap, pull. So, how is it going? Keep your scales on. I only have two legs, you know. What are you doing here? Your father is here. Get ready for a little ride in the air. <laughs> what are you doing? Can I play too? Yes, let's see who can graze faster. Come on, chomp chomp. <laughs> Daddy, I'm hungry. Look out, lightning! We'll let him get away! Suppose you're looking for these? Uh, this isn't how it looks at all. I can explain everything. <laughs> I'll never do that again. I promise. Can we go home right now? But how did you manage to get in this mess? I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. I was jealous. I wanted to go on a mission with Baggy, and in fact, I'm not even good at babysitting. <clears throat> uh, can I say something? In fact, I wasn't on a mission. I think Baloo sent me away to let off steam. If I hadn't run into Chapal quite by accident... So that means... Well, yes. It looks like the real mission was for you. <laughs> <laughs> Share Khan's 
claw. Bagheera slid down the forbidden hill on a banana leaf. Mowgli leapt from vine to vine, taunting Shere Khan as he boiled over with rage. And then you'll never guess what happened. The stupid tiger tripped and knocked himself out against a tree. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Why, of course. I just figured out why I'm so bored in this prairie. In fact, it's very simple. I'm an adventurer, a treasure hunter. Like you. Doesn't every adventurer have an ultimate weapon? My friends, I proudly present the Tickling Fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's some lethal weapon. <laughs> Poor Pavo. He's as nearsighted as a mole. You can laugh all you like. I have the soul of an adventurer, and I'm going to prove it. At high noon, I will go off to hunt for treasure in the jungle, alone. Pavo is the clumsiest peacock I know. If he goes off alone, he'll get in trouble. Pavo the bold. Pavo the bold? <laughs> Pavo the don't, you mean. <laughs> He's headed for disaster. How can we stop Pavo from going off on his own? Come here, you! Baloo! Uh, we need your advice! Pavo wants to go off all alone in the jungle and be an adventurer! That peacock is his own worst enemy! What can we do? Sort of our fault! In fact, we were telling him about our latest adventures... Hey! We... Calm down! Let me think this over, unless you already have an idea of your own! What if we organised a treasure hunt with, uh... uh that mango! Hmm. It would satisfy Pavo's need for adventure while keeping track of him. Do we really have to use my mango? <laughs> Where do we hide it? Hmm. At the intersection of the radiant rays of the sun and the shadow of the grey cliff. <laughs> the intersection of the radiant rays of the sun and the shadow of the grey cliff is a well-known phrase among peafowl and birds in general to designate the oldest tree in the jungle. Pavo won't wander too far and he'll still feel like a real adventurer. Ready for my adventure. As soon as the sun reaches its zenith, I'm off. And when is that? Right now! That's excellent! How would you like to go on a treasure hunt for a precious fruit? A treasure? What is this precious fruit? Uh, you don't know the legend of the Mimi Goo Goo Mango? It's a mango that is never depleted. You can eat it, but it's always there. It was hidden in the jungle a long time ago. Yes. At the intersection of the radiant rays of the sun and the shadow of the grey cliff. This is a mission for Pavo the Bold. And in fact, <laughs> I know just where the treasure is hidden. You've already solved the ancient riddle. Tut tut tut. Where are you going? Pavo the Bold travels alone. I must prove myself. The road may be perilous, but I shall accomplish my mission alone. Is it me, or did our plan just fail? We'll have to use plan B. Follow and protect Parvo without him noticing. Master! Master! I know! The man-cub! I have a plan! I'm all ears. <laughs> Out with it! <laughs> I know where Baloo will hide the mango for the treasure hunt with Pavo, Mowgli and Bagheera if you want to catch the manka by surprise. <sighs> the intersection of the sun's rays and the shadow of a clay cliff. What is this gibberish? Everyone knows that spot is at the river. Pavo the bold is strong and quick. Ouch! But what are you doing here? Did you follow me? I told you I had to prove myself. We just wanted to see Pavo the Bold in action. Can we please? All right. But if you come with me, it's just to watch and learn. Come on. We're off to monkey territory.
It's the shortest route to where the radiant rays of the sun intersect with the shadow of the grey cliff. Pavo the bold is strong and quick. I don't understand it. This is where the sun's rays are. Everyone knows that. Yet you can see there is no mango and no cliff. Balu is clever. The riddle is surely a code to designate a specific place. Balu was here, but he continued this way. Problem? What's going on? Pavo the Bold is here to help you. Pavo, I think we better leave. And what brings you here to my territory? You've come to break my throne, is that it? Just a minute, sweetheart. We didn't break a thing. We are tracking a magic fruit, the Minigoogle Mango. Yes, madam. It's a mango that never grows smaller. Even when you eat it, it's hidden at the foot of the oldest tree in the jungle. That's a legend, right, Baggy? <laughs> Detain the intruders. Us? All alone? <whistles> <laughs> <laughs> shall be mine. <laughs> Marsha will see that Pavo the Bold must be reckoned with. That's my treasure. The mango is probably under that mound of soil, at the spot where the shadow of the cliff and the sun's rays. That's easy with your nose. Ahem. <laughs> if you value your life, get lost. <laughs> A treasure! I'm a real adventurer! <gasps> what a magnificent treasure! No, I'm the one who found the Mini Google Mango! No one is taking it from me! Over my dead body! <laughs> the treasure Shere Khan is talking about is us! <laughs> Run, Shere Khan! I am Pavo the Bold, an adventurer whose courage knows no bounds! Comes the tickling man! for this moment all day. But that's not a magic mango. It's not the famous Mimi Goo Goo. You wanted to go off alone on your adventures, so we made up the story about the treasure hunt to keep an eye on you. We were worried because you're so clumsy, but in fact, you watched out for us thanks to your bold character. It's true, I'm very brave, but perhaps a little awkward too. I wouldn't have managed without you. <laughs> <laughs> So, I unfolded my tickling fan and rushed at Shere Khan. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mowgli freed Baloo and bing, bang, <laughs> boom! That fat cat Shere Khan went flying into a patch of cactus. You're so bold! You're my hero! <laughs> 
Of course, tomorrow I'll be off seeking new adventures. You'll be here, right? Here we go again. Calm down. I'm sure Eleona will be here soon. But she's late every time. We've always got to hold up the migration for her. We'd be better leaving her behind. That's true. We're sick of it. Yeah. yeah. She has to look after herself. herself. We've, We've had, had enough. enough. No, no, no! Now both of us can do my unstoppable parry. Ah! <sighs> Are you both all right? Shouldn't you have left for the migration? I missed it. I was late again and the cranes <gasps> left without me. I'll never find a mate. I'll never be happy. Goodbye, beautiful blue sky. Why don't you leave on your own? You know the way. You migrate every year. But you want... Ah! Oh! <laughs> my death journey is far too long and dangerous. I can't fly to the north on my own. No self-respecting crane would make such a terrible journey. It's not that bad. You can go on the next migration. But what am I going to do in the meantime alone in this wild jungle? Uh, take it easy all the same. Oops, sorry. Bagheera and I will find you a really nice place, and we'll stay with you until the cranes come back. That way, you'll never be alone. We'll show you all the secrets of the jungle. You'll just love it. Hey, Bagheera? Yeah, yeah. Wasting our time, we'd be better off training. There. Splendid! Really? This spot is marvelous. There must be lots of earthworms here and lots of big seeds over there. Oh, Leona, be careful. That Don't. Smells so good. I was going to tell you, above all, not to smell the mandrake flowers. They can give you hallucinations. Really? Oh, don't worry. I feel completely normal. One day my mate will come. He'll understand me and he'll be handsome. Oh, what cutey, cute little birds. Here, chicky, chicky. Here, chicky, chicky. Is it me, or does Leona really think that the blades of grass are baby birds? <laughs> Just who is this splendid animal? He seems so nice. You take Aliona. I'll deal with him. Come with me, Aliona. There's not a minute to lose. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Don't be scared, my nice big pussycat. I'm Aliona the Crane, the ah. princess you've been waiting for. I am not your nice big pussycat. Your ah. fur is so soft, and you're so handsome. Ah. And you smell so nice, you'd be a marvellous mate. <laughs> oh. ah. 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 It's for your own good. I'll come back, my big pussycat. I promise. <laughs> Sniffed a man.
Mandrake oh. flower. And she's fallen in love with Shere Khan. Oh. Shere Khan? Oh, is that my little stripy biscuit's name? Shere Khan is the mate I've always dreamed about. He could wait for the return of the flock with me. I must go and find him. I'm begging you. I, I love him. Oh, boy. We must find a remedy as quickly as possible. Eleona has fallen for me. How could a crane have fallen for a big, ferocious tiger, who's a real sourpuss, too? Shut up! <laughs> Thanks to this crane, I've now got a perfect plan for catching the man-cub. <laughs> the crane's promised to come back, and the man-cub will never let her come alone. <laughs> I've made a remedy based on chili pepper. Great! Shit! Uh, 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 I'm sure she's going to find Shere Khan. Uh. <laughs> my big pussycat, my stripy hunk of a tiger, you and I are going to party! Mowgli can't be far away. I'll leave you with Aliona, eh? Just until I find him. Be sedated with Aliona. Why don't you go and welcome her with a song, like she's doing? Uh, really? Trust me, master. I'm a real lady killer. My sweet crane, lovely to see you again. Uh, you and I will have a ball. Shere Khan's just gone into the cave with Aliona! Baloo, create a diversion. Then Mowgli and I will go and get Aliona. Yoo hoo! Over here, Tabaki, my good friend! <laughs> it worked, Master! They're here! I'll be back, my sweet cute kitten. <laughs> Baloo's acting as bait. The man cub can't be far away. When I tell you, we'll go after him. Then I'll return to the cave while you keep on chasing him. All on my own? Why not? Are you scared? Now! And besides, no one invited you to our love nest! Go on! Uh, it's not my fault. It wasn't my idea. Uh, Mowgli! Get out right now! Leave! But, Aliona, it's for your own good. Get out, I said! <laughs> my plan worked. Now you are mine, man cub. My stripy hunk! Look at the nice decorations I've made! If you have any last words, now's the time, man cub. Be careful, my stripy hunk! Go on! Get away! Go on! Get away! I've got you now! Oh, aren't you the cute one? Cheeky cheeky! Well done, master! And who is this splendid animal? Master? O are you alright? You've not gone crazy, have you? You will be my smelly hunk! <laughs> what about me? Okay, Shere Khan's found a friend. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for saving me, and... Aliona, uh, thank goodness you're here. I was so worried about you. They've all come back for me! 
I'll never understand cranes. <laughs> oh, 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 to the left. <laughs> <laughs> walking all on our own. And where's your daddy? <laughs> His daddy's right here. Is there something you want to say to him, Wimp? Uh, hello, Jakala. Uh, uh, the, the kid had something. Uh, there, that's better. Yes. Uh, who forgot to wash his muzzle this morning? You see, it's exactly like I said. No observation of the natural setting, no method, and finally, no dinner. Here in front of you, you have the perfect example of a bad hunter. That's why you've got to learn not to end up like that loser, famished. Oh, but it's not fair. Why me? My brothers are on their own, taking it easy at the swamp. Mm. Don't worry, my little crocodile. The lucky little fellows will also get an individual lesson. Or oh, my name's not Chakala. I'm not going to feed you forever. You must learn to take care of yourselves. <laughs> oh, oh, crack. Crack. Ooh, ooh, a red panda. Crack, crack. A, a crane. A crane! Or, more exactly, a crane's cry of alarm at the approach of a predator. Good! I see that everyone's been following well. You'll soon know everything about the meaning of animal cry. Some cries are real calls for help. And that was the distress call of what kind of animal? It was the cry of an old bear who has a very bad back. Hello, Baloo. Hmm. Can we have a word with you? Of course! How are... Because it can't go on like this. Babies need some peace and quiet, not this racket. But I didn't even know they'd been born. Congratulations! Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Shouting, noise, honestly. Those aren't the conditions for bringing up a family. Really? But, uh, it was... <laughs> We're sorry to have disturbed the little ones during their nap. Ah! While I rest my back here, you will go and play somewhere else. Lesson number one. I'm waiting. We observe the surroundings. <laughs> I observe the surroundings. It's not fair. There's no games today. No sliding in the mud. Yeah, really not fair. And it's all because of Guzzlegut's private lesson. Well, my little crocodiles, don't we say hello to Tobacco Nanny anymore? That's rubbish. Our dad, Jakala, never said anything about a nanny. Especially not a hairy one. <laughs> but it was the great Jakala in person who asked me to look after you while he gives Guzzleguts his private lesson. Hey, we can look after ourselves. We crocodiles are the kings of the swamp. Haven't you seen our teeth? Yes, not too good. Well, if I've understood your father, you are still not able to hunt or defend yourselves. <laughs> I'd be surprised if he told you that, you jackal. That's how you speak to your nanny. <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> Hello, Tabaki. <laughs> what are you doing with Chompa? Off you go. We'll carry on with this later. Jakala asked me to look after them while he was away. I was just teaching them how to get rid of a predator. Wasn't I, kids? Yes, 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 yes Tobacco Nanny. Nanny. Your Tobacco Nanny? How long have you been doing this? I'm impressed. Is it difficult? Could you teach me how to do it? Of course, with pleasure. For example, we can learn to wag our tails, can't we? We can lick our fur, too. What do we do when we haven't got any fur? Whoops, sorry. Uh, no, that's for the other kids I look after, the furry kids. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought they'd never leave. Right now, it's your turn. Lesson number three. 
discreetly approach the prey. Did you really think we were going to believe your story about being a nanny? You coward! Attacking defenceless little babies! What do you mean? My poor jaws aren't strong enough to chew through crocodile skin. Don't take me for a fool, Tabaki. You're lying and I can prove it. May I? <laughs> you saw how soft his stomach is. Your fangs could bite through that with no problem. <laughs> I want to be with Daddy Jakala and Guzzle Guts hunting turtles! Uh -oh. For the love of a bear, remember that at their age you need to run and play! You'll see. Our babies will do the same much quicker than you think. We've got to stop Jakala from attacking the turtles, but we can't leave the kids on their own. I want to go home! Huh. We are at home, stupid. Hey, silence. I'm trying to think. Not bad. You've managed to shut them up. Right. We'll take everyone along with us. Uh, can I go now? I'm only going to hold you up. Well, well. Do you think you can get away like that? We'll deal with you later. <laughs> <laughs> right, little croc. You're in luck. The parents are on the bank. And the kids are asleep. Lesson number... No! I don't want to hunt babies. I don't want to eat something that's got a shell. That's disgusting. A crocodile going to the sea Said goodbye to his little children In the dust He dragged his feet Because the turtles he was to fight Ah, the crow, crow, crow Ah, the crow, crow, crow Ah, the crocodiles To the shores of an island Go on. One each. It's not that difficult. She smiled at me. I can't eat an animal that smiles at me. <gasps> Don't go. Jakala will... Oh, ow! Oh, my back! Of course not. Don't worry, we're taking care of it. I've got to help Mowgli. Can you keep an eye on them, Boo? Jakala's kids? Are you crazy? Oh! Oh! I'll never be able to do it. I'm not strong enough. We need something to keep his mouth open. Wait! <gasps> My baby! Dad's eating guzzle guts! <laughs> it's going to be all right. Mowgli will save everyone. Are you going to open your mouth or not? <gasps> For the love of a bear, you've unblocked my back! <laughs> Thank you, Mowgli. What was it like inside? Was it dark? Weren't you afraid of being eaten? Huh, no way! I expected it. That's lesson number one. Absorb the parameter. Aren't you ashamed of yourself attacking babies? A big fellow like you. I wanted to teach my kids how to hunt, but it's not easy to find a prey the right size for them. Ooh. I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to say. I won't do it again. But Tobacco Nanny wanted to eat us all. Really? really? 
I wanted to prove to myself that I could hunt, but I can't even catch a field mouse. Hold me back, or I'll get him. Stop it, Dad. <gasps> what did you think you were doing? You left your children alone when there are predators everywhere. Where were you? Yes, well, all of that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't been sent to play elsewhere. Noise, my friends, also means life. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mowgli, be careful! <laughs> All right up there! Just be patient! I've almost got it! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I got it! Concentrate, Baloo, or we'll lose our balance! <laughs> Sorry, me and Guzzleguts weren't paying attention. This is our secret hiding place. Oops. Yeah, you're looking at the new heroes of the jungle. <laughs> oh. We're croc monkeys. One for two and two for one. <laughs> Come here, little buddies. Let me show you something. This is where I grew up with Bagheera. And we played adventurers too. For hours, while Baloo watched us. Wow, does that mean one day we'll be strong like you? Perhaps, if you don't make anyone angry with your fun and games. Tricky! <sighs> How many times have I told you, Tricky? I forbid you to play with that crocodile. But he's my best friend. Today, perhaps. But when he's an adult, he won't hesitate a second and eat you alive. Come <gasps> here, Guzzle Guts. If I catch your son playing with mine, I'll bite him! <gasps> hey, that's enough! Nobody's eating anybody! Mind your own business! We don't need advice from a man-cub! But Tricky and Guzzleguts have done nothing wrong! They're just friends! Hmm. Friendship is stronger than the law of the jungle! Uh. Look at me! I'm friends with a bear and a panther! You're not an example! <gasps> Since the three of you have been together, the jungle isn't the same. Come on, Tricky. Let's go. We'll meet up later at our secret place. <laughs> Cuzzle cats. But you can't keep them apart like that. You see? You have fun with other monkeys. Yeah, yeah. I loved this game when I was your age, and with all my monkey friends, we'd... Ah! Tricky! <laughs> I'm going to show you how to sharpen your teeth when you're a crocodile. You start with the canines, and then you work on each tooth, pivoting your head like this. Your turn. Lost your appetite, Mowgli. I can't stop thinking about Tricky and Guzzleguts. They must be so sad. Imagine if they had kept us apart, but Baggy. I don't want to think about it. Guzzleguts! Tricky! Where is my son? My son! You mean to say your kids have gone missing? This is all your fault! Jakala is right. If you hadn't set such a bad example, they never would have gone off alone in the jungle. Who knows what might happen to them? Calm down. They can't have gone very far. <laughs> we'll organize a search party and find them right away. Yeah, let's go. Are you coming? We can't just stay here and wait. Guzzle guts! Tricky! One for two and two for one. <laughs> Want to go exploring? Ah! Means yes. One snap for yes, and two snaps for no. Great! A secret code! Master! Master! I have a surprise for you. A young monkey and a young crocodile, alone in the jungle. Fresh, tender flesh. Defenseless and easy to hunt. <laughs> Watch out, Jackal. You're starting to act intelligently. <laughs> However, I forgot to add, it's one kid each. Don't you agree? <gasps> the last one down is a loser! Tricky! 
Them. We searched the entire area. I think I'm on to something. No, you just smell honey badger. Hold it. Bagheera is right. There are traces of monkey and crocodile prints. Come see. I'm exhausted. Maybe we should go back before our parents start to worry, don't you think? Thank you, but we'll never find them, Chikala. Our kids are gone forever. You aren't saying we should give up. I thought monkeys were stubborn. I think we've already been here. You're right. We're lost. Shall we climb the cliff? From up there, we can see the entire jungle and find our way. Ah! Climb up here? That's for sure, Guzzle Guts. I'm tired too. Hello, little snacks. Of course, your friends in different species too. Oh, that's true. We could say we're close, like two claws on the same paw. Ow! Oh. You're not my friend. You're my servant. I give you my orders and you obey me. They're escaping! Show me you're a good servant and catch those kids! I will not! <laughs> uh, no need to threaten me. I get it. <laughs> ah, my tail! My tail! Over there! <gasps> Quick! Bagheera! Ah, my tail! I want my mommy! And I want my dad! Help! The man cub! Today's my lucky day! Get lost, Maki! Before I whip your hide! Shall be mine, all three of you. Go while I try to hold Shere Khan back. Mowgli rescued us. We can't leave him like this. One for three and three for one. Guzzleguts rescued us from Shere Khan's clutches, thanks to their friendship. Really? This is all our fault. We never should have tried to keep you apart. Perhaps, but I'm never teaming up with the monkeys. That's the law of the jungle. Jakala needs time to get over this before he finally understands and accepts this unusual friendship. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I do believe you need a friend to untie you. How many times must I repeat? I have no friends. <laughs> Tabaki, come back! 